Hi everybody, welcome back to Laura A Vlogs. Now, um, I wanted to do this video for a while. I was looking through the list of comments um, that was made to me in past videos and I can't seem to locate the person who requested me to make this specific update of um, medications. <laughs> Basically, I'm making an update of, of medications and supplements that I take on a daily basis and I will label it as part two um, I don't know who made the request and I have to really apologize to the person who did put it out and I'm really sorry you know <laughs> life <laughs> life has taken me in many different turns but better late than never I say so here I am giving you guys a part two on supplements and medications that I take these days. I know I made a video a year ago, so, you know, here we are. <laughs> We're back at it again. So, um, so a lot of the items that I take on a daily basis hasn't changed much, but I'm going to go through it anyway, just so you guys can have a, a heads up where I'm at. So a lot of you know that I have UCTD and so under that umbrella, um, unfortunately, you know, it falls under the lupus, the scleroderma, the Raynaud's um, symptoms, but also during the course of my illness, I also have GERD. I also have high blood pressure. And well, this doesn't really count as a part of the UCTD, but um, I have, you know, common allergies, you know, nothing crazy. And also that everybody has been following me. I also am still recovering from having breast cancer surgery. So I am still on the medication with, uh, with for the, you know, keeping the hormones from developing any future tumors so i'm gonna go through it here we go Alrighty. so i currently take for the blood pressure for the high blood pressure now a year ago i was changed from my original blood pressure which was the lisinopril to another dosage of the lisinopril i don't remember it was a 12 point something now Unfortunately, that medication was working okay, but my blood pressure was still, you know, going up and they couldn't figure out why was it happening. And it, you know, the dosage wasn't helping. And then the doctor has said, you know what, we're going to add an uh, ACE inhibitor into the medication. So what I'm taking is that still the lisinopril, but it has with the HCT. And so the, the I'm going to word out the, the current medication on the bottom of the screen. So it's a 20.12.5 uh, micrograms, I believe, because they don't show you the whole wording on the label. So I do take this. And since then, it has helped me. I mean, when I started taking this medication, I felt my heart going like it was so tight. It just felt the relief, like, oh, finally, my body could rest, you know. So since then, I've been OK with it. I haven't had no serious side effects from from that medication. And so now we go into allergies <laughs> i take the com um the generic brand of um claritin for my seasonal allergies and i still get them in my winter time this the seasonal especially with me living in an apartment in new york city a lot of the um the heat in my building is not i can't control it by thermostat so it's you know i live in a pre-war um, building so everything is generated from the boiler from the basement so a lot of times the the dust and stuff come up and so I 
tend to get allergies throughout the whole year. So I take a Claritin, it's a Loratadine. And so it's a 10 milligrams of Loratadin that I take on a daily basis for my allergies, my seasonal allergies. So far so good. <laughs> and also, like I said, I mentioned before, I have GERD. So if I don't take this medication, no matter what I eat or don't eat, my acid reflux is, goes on fire. It's like acid just comes up and I, I feel my throat burning up to the point like I get very hoarse and I feel like I'm going to just pass out. So I take um, the generic of Pepsid. So it's for famidity. So I take like a 20 milligrams of fedam. I can't even pronounce it. I will word it out. Of famidity. I will say Pepsi, generic Pepsi. And I'll word out the, the word, okay? <laughs> I suck on pronouncing. <laughs> so um, I take that. I have to take it twice a day. So I take it in the morning and then um, I take it at night. But as of lately, I've been doing is not taking it at night as much because I have it somewhat under control. I tend to eat a little earlier my dinner because of the fact that I want my my body to digest the food properly. And also depending what I'm consuming, because I noticed that a lot of times if I were to drink alcohol or eat like very acidy foods like tomato sauce or um, anything that has sauce base, I have to really, you know, be very careful, you know, when I eat. You know, if I eat towards later in the evening, then I know I'm going to need um, to take the Pepsi generic brand of um, medication. But if I know that I'm going to be OK and not, you know, have that serious acid reflux happening at night, then I don't take it. You know, it depends on what I'm consuming and when I consume um, the food or drink. But as of lately, you know, I'm not a heavy alcohol drinker. You know, I keep that on the control. And when I eat dinner, I tend to eat early just to prevent my body from overreacting. So that also plays a huge part for me. And so here, you know, I am pretty much, you know, learning how to control that part. Now... I, a lot of you know that I had gone through cancer, you know, the breast cancer surgery and radiation. So I already completed a whole year of taking the medication. At first I was taking this other medication. I have, I remember, um, I can't remember the name of it. You see, that's how quick I forgot it, <laughs> but I was switched into a uh, letrozole. So I take letrozole now and so far the letrozole I take is the 2.5 micrograms and so I take that in the mornings I take it be done with it you know I don't want to skip any doses I have this week I managed to skip a dose and that's because I was under so much stress that I totally forgot and I prayed that I, I don't have a relapse because <laughs> that's not a good thing. And um, so I do is I take the letrozole every day and, you know, try to complete the five year. God knows what happens after the five years. Maybe they might switch me over into something else. But so far, I completed year one and going into year two of taking medications for cancer um, to prevent any future cancers. So here we are. Now we go into the supplements. Now, the supplements I take on a daily basis, it helps me to, to keep going. You know, it, I, you know, the doctors, as long as it's, I make sure I read that it doesn't interfere the medications that I take. So anytime you take any type of supplements, always, always, always make sure that 
your medications that you take doesn't interfere to the supplements you want to, um, you know, take on a daily basis. Um, I take personally, I take the Centrum Woman's 50 plus because, you know, after all, I'm over 50 and I take that on a daily basis. Um, so far, it has helped me a lot. I haven't had any complaints with it. So, yeah, I take that every single day and also i take vitamin b complex with vitamin c even though i'm taking centrum i still add this too because a lot of us know who experience with autoimmune conditions we tend to have like a lot of fatigue and so i want to make sure that you know i keep up with the energy you know, and also helps me with the nervous system, you know, everything up to par. So I take this vitamin B complex with vitamin C. It has, let me see, does it have to tell you the... Mm -mm. It doesn't tell you how many... I mean, it breaks it down like um, what each component has it within milligrams or micrograms so so far like i said i take it it works well for me i go by the price point i don't go by brands i go by price point and also make sure that the ingredients stays as natural as possible possible <laughs> so you know i also do that and I also go for um, vitamin D3. Since I really don't get much sun and, you know, I don't really consume that much milk. I take the vitamin D3 and I take it each day. Helps me a lot <laughs> to make sure that my supplements are up to par and yeah <laughs> it does like i i don't really have complaints i don't really have much to say about these th these supplements because of the fact that um i take it every day it helps me you know maintain some sort of nutrients in my body and also i i had asked my ex-partner <laughs> my ex-fiance my ex <laughs> you know he's He's become my, my, my friend, my, my best friend, because of the fact that um, even though we, our relationship didn't work out and, you know, we had, eventually I'll talk about that in a, another video, but, you know, he has been good, a good friend, you know, regardless of our differences that we had um, throughout the years, we, out of the breakup, we became better human beings <laughs> so he did me a solid and you know ordered because i ran out of um these two um supplements and especially this one the fish oil i had him o order this for me the fish oil i really needed it i wind up having such problems because right now I'm under uh, certain problems that I'm going through personally so he ordered this for me and um all I can say is thank you <laughs> thank you because I ever since I ran out of my other pills that I was taking for the fish oil I started experiencing a lot of pain in my joints I do have osteoarthritis so unfortunately it affects my hands a lot and also my hip area and so it's it's really bad <laughs> and i came to realize when i ran out of it i was just like oh man it's gonna hit me and because it's been under control for so long and then suddenly just stop it everything just started flaring up and my hand like one hand was thinner and then this hand was like very swollen, like a sausage. And I was just like, this is not good. I couldn't even type. That's how much pain I was under. So now, yeah, back to the fish oil I go. <laughs> so I'm very happy with it. 
and also he ordered me a, a COQ10. This is good for the heart and the muscle. It support the cardiovascular, which again, I have high blood pressure. You know, unfortunately in my fam family genetics, you know, we run with, my father had died with heart attack and my mother had a congestive heart failure and so with me unfortunately with the genetics on both sides going against me you know i am a good candidate to to have issues with my heart and so i'm trying to stay as healthy as possible but it's really hard when um you know daily stress of life is constantly being thrown at you and unfortunately when it comes to the negativities of life it's it's hard it's really hard and so yeah back to the q10 i i am going back into yeah <laughs> so this is a very short and sweet video <laughs> so Again, I'm, I apologize to anyone that I remember there was somebody who requested this specific video. And I, again, I'm sorry <laughs> for the delay on this. But yeah, this is what I take these days. I don't take anything crazy out of the ordinary. You know, it's pretty much all common sense. And so, yeah, that is pretty much it. So anybody who sees these videos... Get the videos a like so anybody that are going through, you know, autoimmune condition, you know, breast cancer, whatever, give the videos a like. And if you're new to the channel, you're welcome to subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys soon in my next video. Bye.